welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And today we are going to find out how hard can it be to make extruded aluminium parts. And how you are going to find out, you are going to fuck around and then you are going to find out. <laughs> That's our plan. And how we are going to, going to fuck around, you ask, with Hydraulic Press of course. So, we took a bunch of aluminium cans and crushed them here to be this giant aluminium pancake. I don't know how many cans there is. Woodworker Don is probably going to tell you in the comments. And it doesn't come out like this. Aluminium extrusion doesn't work like this. You have to heat up aluminium almost 500 degrees Celsius or this many freedom heat degrees. <laughs> Probably like as hot as five elephants or something yeah, like that. Yeah, maybe elephants. Elephant hot. Yeah, and then you crush it out. Mm. And you need like 800 bars, which is not that much for us. But the exciting part, we're going to probably find out a lot, <laughs> is the fact that when this is 500 degrees Celsius, it's uh, only half as strong yeah. when it's now, so it might explode <laughs> and send deadly hot shrapnel around. To our bunker, with luckily. De with deadly speed. Yeah. But it's going to be inside of our bunker, yeah. so we are not going to find out. You are going mm -hmm. to find out there in the studio and yeah. we, we are all going to find out through the camera, camera picture. Yeah. Nobody is going to find out in person. So this is the best way to fuck around with yeah. this idea. And I don't know much of all at like fine details of aluminum extrusion, as you <laughs> probably already have found out at this point. So all of the engineering work is done by ChatGPT5. <laughs> okay. And one thing that we found out together with the ChatGPT5, without fucking around at all, at is, all. is the fact that there is about 1% of plastic in these. And nothing good happens when you heat the plastic to 500 degrees. So we are going to go outside, heat it there, and then bring it here and wear gas masks. Because it's not good to like breathe plastic smoke. Yeah, we also made this really nice tool for carrying yeah. the very hot yeah, things. Yeah, because last time when we played with hot aluminium, we <laughs> fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, it was you mostly. Yeah, I, I found out. <laughs> I found out that the, like the uh, uh, hot aluminium is soft, unpredictable, and really hot. Yep. I got minor burn in my finger, but not today. Today we have this. Yeah. So let's heat up this. Let's let's heat this up. First thing that I found out is the fact that aluminium cans melt and try to catch on fire, and you heat them with the giant blowtorch. And also that the steel tools take forever to heat up properly hot. I waited them to get like blue and then just kept going like twice as long. So they were as hot as we are going to get them ever with this method. And then we tried to be really fast on getting them installed to the press. And also to be careful not to burn ourselves. And I'm really pleased on our choreography here. We were really fast and safe. And then the last thing was to crush the aluminium and hope that it comes out. And it didn't come out and that's such a disappointment. I was really hopeful that it's going to work. And we were using 200 tons because the tools, or the tool that we are using, the attachment diameter is so small that it can't handle the 300 tons. It's meant for the smaller press. So this temperature and 200 tons is just isn't enough with this tool. Uh, okay, I think we need two states approach. The tools are now really hot. But we just can't get them probably hot enough. I think they are like three to four hundred degrees and they should be like five hundred. And uh, without large 
furnace or something oven or something like that we can get the tool so hot and on the real process the tools should be like maybe two to three hundred which is easy and then we should heat the aluminium as a separate part so I think we have to wait for that to cool down the aluminium block inside is probably like really dense now and easy to handle so we are going to let all that cool down okay we went for a mountain bike ride look safety first and everything and we came back and it's not hot anymore and guess what I pop it open and what is inside there is solid ass aluminium and now we are going to push the aluminium clamp out to see how solid ass it really is this is a bit sketchy yep let's get a lot of sketchy let's go back to the This, no, that was already like that when we came here. It's this is probably broken by some other hydraulic press channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still some solid ass smell. It's it was really solid ass from the surface. Yeah. Not really. Not really. Yeah, I think it just wasn't like hot enough. Mm. Because and one thing we had a lot of pressure. This 125 millimeters, and we used 200 tons. So this is that many amount of bars or freedom pressure. And that's a lot. So I think this just cooled down too fast. But let's try next time with like real aluminium, not this soda can shit. Mm, okay, what we find out? <laughs> it's hard. Aluminium, aluminium is quite hard. Also, I find out that aluminium cans are not aluminium. I'm not going to ever heat those again. Yeah, smell is bad. Smell is really bad. Definitely don't do indoors without like gas mask. Next time, I'm going to use a solid ash block of aluminium that I can like heat until it's like starts to melt. Then I throw the part into preheated tools and then crush it and then mm. it's going to maybe work. But, but check out this. I have really nice collection of different metals like engineering samples. I have titanium, titanium, magnesium, zirconium. And what are these you ask? These are leftover pieces from our CNC machine dice projects. And I think we are going to start probably more successful video series <laughs> about doing shit with weird metals. Now when we have all the samples here. And if you want to follow the series, you can order the dice set to your home. So for example, today you could have like aluminum dice at home and you can like feel our opponent and at your own hands. <laughs> I think it's completely different to have it there also with you when you are watching rather than us just mm. fucking around here. These are going to be really interesting. I haven't crushed many of these. This is Damascus yeah, steel. Yeah, so many. But today's okay. material is aluminium. And I think I'm going to like, I'm not going to start to like read out Wikipedia articles. There is so much of those in YouTube. Yeah. I'm going to tell my own experience about different materials. And I'm going to focus on crushing and stupid stuff. And aluminium, it's softer than steel, but it's also quite exploded. Aluminium is one of the two elements that have broken windows on this workshop. <laughs> so that's pretty remarkable yeah. element. And then to machine, there is two sides on aluminium. It's quite soft, you can go really fast, like up to la, let's say 800 meters per minute. That's like maybe four times as fast as with the steel. And you can take also thicker cuts. So it's nice to machine, it's fast. But then it's also one of those annoying sticky elements that you have to have really sharp tool bit. If you're doing a lot of aluminum, you should have like aluminum tool bit. And then if you use aluminum tool bit for steel, it's going to just break down. Mm -hmm. So you have to change the tools. And also, do you know what is the uh, weirdest lubricant that works with aluminium? Well, no idea. 
Uh, 100 pure ethanol. You can pour vodka to your workpiece and it gets oh. all shiny when you're machining. Nice, nice. So that's, that's weird about aluminium. And then other like interesting thing that you already saw when we heat it up, it burns quite well. Yeah. It doesn't burn as a big clump, like the dice is not going to catch on fire. But if you have fine mist of aluminium, then it's going to burn. And where you have seen it burn a lot on this channel is thermite, because thermite is iron oxide and aluminium. <laughs> and it works by aluminium burning in iron oxide powder. So it doesn't use air to burn, it uses iron oxide, which is like close by already there. That's why it burns so well with that mixture. Yeah, but uh, if you are interested in aluminium dyes, there is a link down in the description to our just opened web shop. Cool. We have all the dice in stock, so they ship straight away. And also if you are interested on the upcoming video series, you can look on our collections and then you have already the dice at home when the new videos come out of these samples here. What is your favorite sample that we are here waiting? Hmm. I think uh, it's the Damascus. Damascus steel. It's funny. It's pressed. I like this. This has special place on the channel story. It's nickel. Because the whole idea for the channel came out, out oh. from those Red Hot Nickel Ball videos. So maybe we are crossing the... Yeah, yeah, we are going to yeah. definitely cross the Red Hot Nickel on the uh, like, uh, next metal video series part. Yeah, but I think that is about all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.